This is a demonstration like we did in class of a diploid cell about to undergo mitosis. This cell has an N number of three, which means it has three unique chromosomes, short chromosome, medium chromosome, and long chromosome. Of course, because it's diploid, it has two copies of each of these chromosomes, one that it got from its mother and one that it got from its father. During S phase of the cell cycle, all of the chromosomes duplicate themselves. Now you can think of the cell as being 4N with four copies of each chromosome. One, two, three, four copies of short chromosome, for example. This being mitosis, during metaphase, it's very important to look at how these chromosomes line up. Metaphase of mitosis, all of the chromosomes line up in a straight row. Doesn't matter the order that they line up in, but the important fact is they're lining up in a straight row. During anaphase, chromosomes separate. And you have two new cells, each identical to the cell that started out, having two copies of short, two copies of medium, two copies of long. In mitosis, you start with a cell that duplicates its DNA once and divides its DNA once, so you end up with two cells identical to the parent cell.